Hey guys, how's it going? Ain't been to bed yet since the other video I made the other day complaining about the weather. It's still cold as but Jesus, I think it's colder today than it was uh, yesterday. This is that uh, D Stroke 660 that I built. As far as I know, this is the only one in existence. Um, I think I did a couple videos on this. I may not have done too much on it, but how I achieved this was uh, using a 661 crankshaft that modified everything to fit it into a 660 uh, crankcase and then I used a 661 piston that I modified and then I'm using a big bore 660 cylinder to accommodate the 661 uh, bore size. It just it never was really happy with uh, how this thing ran. I mean, it didn't run bad, but it didn't run spectacularly like awesome either. Um, the whole thing's an experiment. Um, the I'll show you the port work again. I thought I showed this on the video before. The black lines that are in there is uh, where I'm going to be moving stuff to because I'm going to stuff more aggressive numbers uh, in this thing. Now, uh, this does have a taper top build, lunged intake. I've got JB Weld in the intake. The numbers I had in it before, I know I showed video of this cutting, I think in pine, maybe in some poplar too, but the numbers that were in this thing was uh, 100 on the exhaust, 120 on the transfers, and 76 on the intake. And uh, I think I'm going to move... I think I'm going to move it to 80 on the intake, maybe 78. I think I'm going to move it to 96 on the roof. Um, and I think I'm going to move it to 116, 117, somewhere in there on the transfers. I'm going to go a little bit more duration. Uh, I did cut a button top, taper button top in this. Uh, but with the way I've had to machine everything and, and drop it, even at bottom dead center, uh, this piston's sticking up quite a ways inside that exhaust port. And uh, I just don't think it's letting it breathe. I, I don't have enough port area, I think, to achieve what I was trying to do. So I'm going to have to give it more duration to make up for the, the port area. And uh, I'm going to give it some more intake to it a little more. I started out mild on it because I wasn't sure how it's going to react. I think it's a 37 millimeter stroke. Um, I guess I'll sh bring you in close to it. I feel bad. I haven't been putting out very good content lately. I've been dumping a bunch of shorts, but that's just footage from previous videos. But this thing down at uh, bottom dead center, you can see how, uh, how close that... Uh, How close that piston is to the crank and stuff. Um, get that piece of silicone off there. I gotta flush the crankcase out yet. Um, notice I am getting a little, a little bit of wear here, but I figured that was gonna gonna happen where the wrist pin location is. Um, I'm getting quite a bit of piston rock in this. But, uh, yeah, it won't have the black covers on it anymore because I use them on a different saw. Um, but I've got a, I've got a set of orange ones. I might dye them black, might not, I don't know. I might just leave this black and throw the orange ones in there. I can't remember what carburetor I had on this thing. It's right here. It looks like I had an OEM carburetor on it. So, I think this is one I built out of three of them. But, uh, yeah, I had to do a lot of, a lot of clearancing and stuff to get, everything to fit like I wanted it to. So, 
still not sure if this was the the right thing to the right thing to do I don't know if it's gonna achieve what I want um, if this don't end up working out the way I want it to um, I do have a normal 660 crank that I could split this case again put a 660 crank back in it um, they will have a bigger hole where the oil pump is on the bottom side where you get to the adjuster but it really shouldn't hurt anything uh, if I go that route and then I've got I don't know my shop's a mess so. let's see here I've got let's set this over here I've got a cylinder in here I've got a brand new meteor cylinder here I have a crank right here and I have a meteor piston I think it's yeah it's sitting right under right underneath there so if this ends up not not working I'm just using this uh, other saws haven't showed up yet um, so I'm just using this as some filler time I wanted to tinker with something play with something so I'm just using this for some filler time right now to see if I can get it to run a little bit better um, just got so much on my mind right now um, while I'm waiting for parts to show up for here um, the cheapy Alibaba saw that's underneath there got some big plans coming up for uh, that saw I'll talk about it when the parts show up I'm not going to get into it right now but I'm going to be between taking care of dad and coming out here I'm just going to be puttering on this uh, off and on all day um, hoping I can turn this thing into something I'm sure got enough work into it so um yep as far as i know this is the only de-stroked uh 660 in existence I, I don't know anyone else that's put a 661 crankshaft in a 660. at least i haven't found any videos or threads or or anything uh there is quite a bit of like what i did what gave me the idea to build that is uh scarface when i Put the 660 crank in here i had that leftover 661 crank because that's a stroker and this is a true uh d stroker this is a 661 crankshaft in there um, so i think once i get the port timing figured out uh where this thing's going to want to run at uh maybe it'll be something if not um i already got a pretty good formula for the standard 660 um, to get 10 horse or whatever so uh, if this fails I'll split the case stuff a 660 crank back in it 660 top in and I will uh, stuff some 10 horse numbers in it and uh, see what happens but uh, at least there's some sort of some sort of footage um, you guys take it easy have a good one try to stay warm <laughs>